A lot of my clients are very fearful of AI, wondering, hey, what's it going to do? Is it going to take our jobs? Those of us who are content creators are wondering, wait a minute, it's going to start doing the writing for us and all the audio and all of this. What are we going to do? Are we going to lose business? Are we going to lose our job to AI? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you five steps plus a little bonus too that's going to help you to make sure that you don't lose your job to AI, but you get ahead and you're going to be able to do it. And the first one, I'm going to let you know right now, the first one is you want to make sure you enhance enhance your people skills. You might think, well, how does that work, Harry? Well, you're enhancing your ability to connect with people even better. AI, by very, it's very different definition, won't do that. Instead, you're going to be able to say, hey, I'm going to up those people skills, particularly at a time in our world where there's so much arguing going on, people fighting each other bitterly. It's like, why do that? You want to be the one that knows you can go into a place and you'll be able to get along with them. You're really enhancing enhancing what Daniel Goldman calls your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, the EI. So what you want is to really emphasize your EI, emotional intelligence, while you're learning about the AI, the artificial intelligence. You want both. It's not either or. It's both and. So what you want to do, find out how to get along with people more, even those and maybe even especially those where you disagree. You can learn a lot that way and it's good. Hey, I'm Terry Brock, your guide here, and I just want to make sure that you're getting the skills and the help that you need as you move into this thing. And so that's what we're going to be talking about. And I've got some more new tips I want to give you as well that are going to really help you a lot. Point number two, hey, this is important no matter what. You want to be adaptable flexible. Think about being adaptable and adjusting to what's going on. Too many people get locked into, this is the way we did it, therefore that's what I've got to do. Well, in the age of AI, when it's spinning at just breakneck speed, I mean faster than I've seen it in all of my career, and I've been working in computers, technology, relationship marketing, those kinds of things for about 40 years now, actually over 40 years, celebrated that earlier this year. But there's a lot that you can do when you're being able to be adaptable. I love the way that uh, the United States Marines said, improvise, adapt, and overcome. So you want to be flexible. I like the way some people say it. You want to be so flexible, they call you Gumby. <laughs> so get out there and learn how you can adapt and adjust. Just realize, okay, here's how we're going to do it. We understand intellectually, okay, change is happening. It's happening, and I'm going to have to adapt. But the adaptation is even better. Because by doing that, your mind gets a little more pliable. It gets a little more open, so it doesn't get entrenched and hardened. As we get older, that's a good thing to make sure you stay flexible. Make sure you stay adaptable. Roll with the punches. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Point number three very, very important. You want to build your network. In the age where we're doing so much with machines, we realize we can't know everything. None of us is as smart as all of us. An old Japanese saying that we hear a lot in technology areas, we say it a lot at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. You want to be out there and get involved with people, with groups. Matter of fact, my buddy Harvey McKay said it a while back. He told me that he had several different groups. He was showing me all the different groups he's involved in. I go, how do you do all that? He said, well, I'm in these. I have access to the people. I learn from them, but I'm predominantly putting my time into two or three key areas. And I thought, okay, that makes sense. You can't do everything, but you do need to be involved. So find the one group that's going to be number one for you. For me, it's the National Speakers Association. That's where I'm putting a lot of time and effort. I have for many, many years, and I've learned from there. I'm growing there. We've got a great tribe of people. And then by extension, we have the Global Speakers Federation. It expands worldwide. So now we have friends and keep people we know in countries around the world so that we're able to actually go there, get work there, and get a chance to know them. And I think more, the most important thing is we see the world and issues from a different point of view. I was born and raised in the United States, in the Midwest, in the country, grew up out in the country, literally on a dirt road, and I got a chance to learn a lot that way, and I had a certain frame of mind. This is how the world works. When I got out of there, went to undergrad school down in Oklahoma, started seeing, hey, there's differences too. And then grad school was over in Atlanta for me. So I just expanded around and started learning and growing more to see more. And the benefit is when you're traveling the world, when you're studying and learning, you're doing better. But you want to keep building your network, the people that you know. This is how you're going to be able to do what needs to be done in the age of AI. Keep expanding your network. And the way to do that, 
get out and serve more people. Don't go in thinking, oh, gee, I'm going to see what they're going to give me. You want to find out what can you do to serve them. How can you give your time, your money, your energy? Do that. And as you do that, then it will come back. If you're in an environment where they believe in mutual help, beneficial, live and let live is what we call it. Live and let live, very peaceful living. You don't initiate force and coercion. We call it the uh, non-aggression principle, NAP. You go out, do what you want to do, but don't initiate that force. It's wrong for an individual to do it. It's wrong for a group to do that. It's wrong for a corporation to do that. It's wrong for any group of individuals that start aggressing on another. So don't do that. Build a network that is supportive and helps you. And then within the world of AI, that all this change is going on. You're going to secure your position because somebody's going to say, oh, you can do that. Really, let's talk. I think we could hire you. As entrepreneurs, we're always looking for new ways to get our business going and to help more people in more ways. By taking that servant mentality and being able to live and let live, you do much, much better all the way around. And step number four, make AI a must-have part of your regular learning. Lifelong learning, we know, is very important. We've talked about that for many years. And lifelong learners are the ones who keep growing and really actually squeeze more juice out of life, enjoying it and helping others more. So you want to keep doing that. But I'm asking you now, learner to learner, lifelong learner to lifelong learner. Yeah, you're watching this. I know you there. You want to make sure that you put AI something you need to learn. It's changing rapidly. That's why one of the things we do at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs is we regularly talk about what's happening from a business building point of view. Not just because it's nifty and groovy and because we're nerds. I am a nerd. I, I admit it. Yep, I am. <laughs> I like that nerdy stuff. But what you want to do is be able to find what's practical, bottom line benefit. They told us in business school that uh, bottom line growth was a good thing. So I'm going to believe them. And I'm going to say, hey, that's what we need to do. You want to make sure that what you're doing is you're building your business and you're growing, learning about AI. So it's one of the things we do at Stark Raving Entrepreneurs. Every Wednesday, we have our event. I'm going to show you how you can get in touch with that in just a moment. And you can go and come in and see us here. World-class speakers. We bring in a lot of people from the National Speakers Association, and they're world-class speakers, Hall of Fame members, many of them. And we bring these people in to help you. No charge. You just find out about it. And then if the situation is right and it fits you, we have a bronze, a gold, and silver levels that you can use and be able to learn even more where we help you to learn these skills about AI and show you specific programs that can really help you to grow with that. So what you want to do is keep learning, keep growing, and learn faster. There are three things you want to do with learning. You want to be able to learn faster be able to get more information that's coming in for you very easily and be able to read faster, watch videos, listen to audios faster than ever. Secondly, you want to be able to retain this information. Learn how you can enhance your memory. Make sure that that is growing. And so as you learn something, you go, hey, I can use that. And then number three, you want to make sure it is extraordinarily relevant. Learn information that is relevant to your market, that solves their problems. Just learning about, uh, as I like to say, the tsetse flies of Ethiopia from the 15th century, well, that might be real dandy, Sparky, but we really don't care <laughs> right now. But you show me how I can use AI to build my business, okay, now you got something there. And you can go out into the world, acquire skills that are needed, that there's a gap. They don't have as much or it's overpriced and you can still make a profit for yourself that's reasonable and you're able to provide this for others, then you've got a good combination. So make sure that you're constantly learning, learning how to learn better, how to learn faster and be able to make sure that it's very relevant to the market. It's got to be relevant to the marketplace and then they will come back and you will have your future secured. And step number five, you want to make sure that you up your game. Up your game. Get better in all areas. Right now, this is a wake-up call for all of us. AI is changing faster than any technology I've seen, and many others are saying the same thing. What you want to do is be able to say, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get better all the time. You can take it whatever way you want. When something bad happens, you can look at it and go, oh, no, woe is me. I'm not going to make it. Or you can turn around and say, okay, hold it. That bad thing really did happen. You don't sugarcoat it. You understand, yes, that happened. How can I get better as a result of that? 
What can I do to up my game and become a better person in spite of the setback, the disappointment, the loss, the pain that we had? You want to do that. I think Carol Dweck says it really well when she talks about a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. You want to have that growth mindset so you're constantly learning, constantly getting better, and using those challenges and the obstacles that come your way to get better. The Stoics said it very well. Marcus Aurelius, one of my buddies, I call him my buddy. He was around about 2,000 years ago, but he said the obstacle is the way. This is the way that you overcome. You get better because of that obstacle there. You learn how to get around it or get over it or go underneath it or just blast it out of the way or do something to deal with it. You learn new creative skills. So keep upping your game. The worst thing you could do is sit back, cross your hands, go, well, okay, I'm all set. I'm going to take it easy now. That's the first sign things are starting to go really bad. My buddy Al Walker said that years ago, and it helped me so much. Al, if you're watching this, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Still helping me today. That instead of saying, oh, yeah, I can sit back and relax now. I'm going to be okay. I'm just fine. Yeah, here we go. Uh Uh-uh. You want to say, okay, that's good. Now you rest. You celebrate your victories. That's good. But then you get out and go for it. What can I do now next to get to the next level and help even more people? And I've got a bonus for you. You want to acquire skills in those areas that AI cannot do or it's not likely to do right away. You want to make sure you get the ideas that, okay, here is what something we can do as human beings and the computers, the AI, won't be able to do that. Key areas there would be, well, one is persuasion. Learn about persuasion, how you can work with people and help them to overcome something, do that in an ethical way. Negotiation. Negotiation with them. This is something else that AI will not be able to do, at least not as well. We can do it very well. You want to make sure that you have that. And then most important, empathy. Have that empathy. See it from the other person's point of view. Listen to what's going on in their life, what challenges they have, and then repeat that back to them. So I understand, if I'm correct, you're saying this, this, and this. Is that right? These are the issues. When you can do that, now people are going to listen more because then you're more able to come back and say, I'm going to offer this. I want you to think about doing something here that is going to help you long term. And that way, it'll give you the ability to get ahead. So those five steps and that bonus as well will help you to get ahead in many ways. And here's something else that will as well. Our stark raving entrepreneurs, I mentioned this, this is how you can take real action and get some results. We are building this. Gina Carr, my partner and I, put this together so that you can learn how to make this happen. My partner and also my fiance. So we're working together and helping people around the world to be able to do this. If you go to starkravingentrepreneurs.com, you'll be able to see the information we have there, all kinds of resources of our YouTube channel, our podcast, and other resources that you'll be able to tap into and get a lot of good that way. It'll be good. And hey, if you like this, by all means, we'd love you to like, share, and subscribe to this so that we can tell those algorithms, hey, this is what people are looking for and what they want. And here's that thing I was telling you about before. Every Wednesday at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time, we have an event at our Stark Raving event. Dot com. You go there and you can register. There's no charge for this. StarkRavingEvent.com. No spaces in there. And if you go there, you'll be able to register and be able to come in for free and be able to hear world-class speakers who can help you in some very positive ways. We bring them in from our friends, from uh, National Speakers Association and other areas too, so that you get a chance to really learn even more and build into that community. We were talking about the community before. We often find that people come to us because of the content that we have, but they stick around because of the community. And that is the key that you want to have. So work on that. See what you can do. We'd love to have you join us for this. And while you're at it, I got another little goodie that I want to give you here. AI Tools for Biz. This is a free resource guide for you where you're going to be able to learn about tools like ChatGPT, uh, Lexicut.art, Canva. Wonderful tools baked into Canva now. They've really upped it for the AI market. OpenAI, which is the tool, the company that gave us ChatGPT, along with DAL E2 and several others too. You'll find out about that as well. One that we particularly like is Udly. Udly is a 
tool that works in the background. There's no charge for it. You can use this to really up your speaking skills. It's a speech coach helping you to know, are you speaking too rapidly? Are you using too many filler words? Yeah, you know about those. Udly is a great tool. You go to udly.ai and you'll see it there. And also Stable Diffusion. So all of this is available for you. We're going to show you and talk to you about it. They're at aitoolsforbiz.com. And if you're catching this on video, you'll be able to see, hey, here's a little new uh, QR code. You can use this and go over there. Same as going to aitoolsforbiz.com for the number four biz.com. So you'll be able to use this in a lot of different ways. Well, hey, I appreciate you joining me today. Always good to have you here, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. If you want to, please leave a comment below wherever you're getting this, and you'll enjoy that. And we've got another one here for you, another video about AI that's going to help you to take your game to the next level. This is what you want to do. Learn this stuff and stay with it. Thanks for being here.